Okay, so one of the things that you're going to want to know how to do is uh, how to find resources in Tinkercad. The other thing I'm going to show you in this video is how to download your resource and then turn it in on Google Classroom. So the first thing I want to do is look for Darth Vader, because obviously I want to look for Darth Vader. Once I've done my search, it's going to give me all the people with usernames that have Darth Vader in it, but they're not the ones I really care about. What I am interested in, however, is below the usernames. These are all things that people have made in Tinkercad and then tagged Darth Vader. So these are all pretty cool. I'm going to click on this one. And then I'm going to click Copy and Tinker. Now once I've copied and tinkered, it's going to bring me into the work plane just like if I was to create a new design, only instead of starting with something blank, it'll start me with this uh, wonderful bust here of Darth Vader. Let's rename Darth Vader. Copied Darth Vader dash Benora. That way I know it's mine. Save. It'll refresh the page because it wants to now just show you what the new name is up here. And now here comes the fun part. Once it loads back up, I'm going to go to Design and Download for 3D Printing. Now, when it comes to 3D printing, STL files are the gold standard. That's what we're going to use. So we're going to, go, we're going to look at this menu. It says Download for 3D Printing, and we want to download it as an STL. So we hit the STL button. And notice it says Waiting for Tinkercad, Waiting for Tinkercad. And eventually, it will pop up in the bottom left-hand corner, or the bottom right-hand corner, depending. Um, the larger the file, and you can see that this Darth Vader um, file is quite large, the longer time it's going to take to download the file. So don't be concerned. Eventually, you'll get this message. If you don't, um, after a couple minutes, maybe you want to refresh the page and try again. But usually, like I said, you'll get that message. Now I'll go back to Tinkercad. Here's the more practice assignment. I'm going to turn in my uh, Darth Vader bust here. So I'm going to click on More Practice. Right. And I'm going to go to Add. Now this time it's going to be a file because it's a .stl file. And I'm going to go to Select Files from My Computer. And there's the copied Darth Vader Benora.stl. Open. There it goes. And now I'm going to hit Upload. Uploading 101. And then this all changes to, there it is, and hit Turn In. Now I will caution you, if you click that to open it, Google Drive's not going to know how to open it because it doesn't have the proper software to open it. It's not connected directly to Tinkercad. So it's going to look like this. Don't worry about it. That's exactly what it should look like. As long as it says the name of your item, .stl, and it's here, you can then click Turn In, Turn In Again, and you're in good shape. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to post them in the stream or to send your teachers a private message. Happy tinkering.